the hoodies were a huge success. The shirts, we have a couple left. Stickers are going out the window. And the beanies are nearly sold out. We do have white left. It's the only color we have left. So if you guys want to grab some of the merch, some Rod C merch, check the link in the description. You guys have been awesome so far. The last month has been crazy. So many orders. And make sure you post something on Instagram and tag me and Rod C so we can share it. Anybody who's asking about the Ride NYC video coming out, it's kind of on pause right now because I need my ankle to heal. I've seen a few more clips for the video and I'm done, like literally a few more clips, but those clips involve me having a strong ankle. So today we're at the Globe riding flat. We're gonna have a good session. I got myself a new tripod, so it's pretty cool to talk without sitting on the floor, a really cold floor. So we're gonna get a flat session. I'm not gonna talk anymore. Enjoy the session and see if we can come up with something new today. This is a new phase. good tricks so far in the session pretty hyped on the last one the last one it's kind of like a new pump that second part of that last trick where I pump I'm so used to doing it front side like I can do it front side I can pretty much go forever front side and it's very easy to the point where I never film it but since it's front side and all my tricks are backside it's kind of useless for combos because all my tricks I spin backside and to just learn front side tricks with flatland I mean it's almost not worth it because you just want to just do more tricks and it's not that useful when you're doing combos. You just want to keep spinning one way and pump. So if I can do that right now, it'd be cool to just see if I can really expand that and try to pump a little more, figure that one out, and then maybe we'll move forward in the session. Try to move forward in the session right after and uh, hopefully we can really get this trick and use it in the future because it's definitely going to be a lot more useful doing this trick backside. So let's try it. Now, there are a lot of tricks that are very fun, but they're just not hard, so I never film them. But there's a trick you guys should definitely do. And all the guys that ride those wheelie bikes, like those PK Rippers, they all do it. It's called 12 o'clock. And basically, it's just like a really steep manual. And you're able to really go for like all the way up with your wheels pointed to the sky because you have your hand on the ground. So you just manual far enough and your hand kind of keeps you from falling in between. Like you wanna, you wanna be in a good steep manual, but leaning back and putting your hand on the ground is something that keeps you up and it's pretty fun. Kind of destroys your hand, so please make sure that you either on something very smooth, like this is smooth, but it still bothers my hand. It like cuts it up a little bit and makes it very dirty. Or if you have gloves, or if you have something like a, get gloves and tape a hockey puck to it, that would probably work really good. It's something slick. But I'll show you guys this trick real quick, and it's really easy. If you have T-bars, it's a little easier because you can grab the middle of the bar. This isn't really like a how-to. I'm just trying to like, show you guys a trick. If you guys want me to make a how-to on this trick, I will. But um, basically, you just grab the middle of the bar, put your hand on the ground first, really lean back, and then lift up. And using the brake helps a little bit, so that way you don't really shoot out, you don't fall, especially when you're wearing a white, fresh ride on a seat hoodie, which I hope you are. 
But either way, this trick is fun, so check it out, and I uh, hope you guys can do it too. Pretty easy, like very easy. I just don't film it that much because it's not much you can do with that. It'd be sick to just do it down the bridge or in the street somewhere, but my hand will get torn up, so I'd need like some kind of special glove thing to put on. It'd be cool to do it down like a hill or something. But I want to continue the session, and I want to work on some backpack tricks, some like upside down scooter backpack tricks. There is this trick, death truck, that I do all the time, but I, I really want to focus on doing combos out because I never do. So I want to see if I can get some more variations of this trick, more variations of the exit of this trick. And I'm not going to worry about getting in because getting in is usually like a 1 out of 10 or 2 out of 10 consistency rate. So we're just going to stay, like be in the trick and then worry about the exit. And if the exit seemed pretty easy, then we'll do the whole trick. But I'm going to do some backpack tricks right now and see what we can do and what we can come up with. This is a new phase, game change, flying by in real time. Catching a deep wave at the right pace Seeing with bright eyes I'm not looking for a reason I'm giving up control I'm not shying from First few tries, it was very easy. I was doing this trick, I was getting out. Locked into the Mega Spin first shot, like that first trick was the first try. And now that I have an idea, which is to get out to Mega Spin to Around the World, which I've never done that combo, I've done it separate a bunch of times, I've never pieced it together. And now that I want to try this trick and I want to film it and post on Instagram too, I just can't lock in. This is this is the story of my life. But that's the trick of the day. I'd be very, very pleased if we can get this trick. I am slightly procrastinating because I don't want to try because I know it could either take one try or it could take a thousand. So I'm just gonna sit here and talk to you guys until I really get, all right, I'm done. <laughs> Let's try this trick. Death truck to mega spin, pump, 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 pump around the world. Let's see what we can do. Whatever. Kind of a weird landing. I kind of just did like a half around the world, so halfway around the world. I don't think that's a real trick. But I was able to get it in a few tries, like under 20, which is magical. If I can do a trick under 20 tries and it's a new trick, that is a very magical moment. It's very rare. But I'm gonna take it because I want to learn more tricks. I want to do more. My ankle is actually warming up, which is how it's been the last two months. Every time it gets warm, it feels good which is not like a good thing. It's good as warm, but then sometimes that warm, normal, not hurting feeling can disguise how hurt it really is. So I just definitely gonna take it easy, continue to ride flat, and maybe do one more trick. I'm gonna ride a bit, try to get some closer Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you are right here because I'll be posting most of my new tricks as soon as I get them right away. And these videos are usually filmed a week, sometimes two weeks in advance. So the trick that I'm trying to do right now is probably on Instagram a long time ago. So make sure you're following me. Look forward to seeing you there. Oh, I just freaking made it. I actually just got a call from the hospital and they told me about my ankle and they told me exactly what needs to be done. And I don't have to get surgery. That's the one thing I was so worried about. That would have been my third surgery. I got my knee completely reconstructed. I got this thumb turned into a robo thumb and I was afraid of my ankle, which this ankle doesn't even hurt that bad. So I would have been really pissed if I had to get surgery when my ankle feels okay. But they said I have a partial tear on one of my tendons, my deltoid ligament, which is like that, like that inside one, like that really weird inside one that you're not supposed to sprain. Sprain that, I don't know how, I don't remember. And I have a bad bruise on another ligament that's right behind that. And that's what hurts. So I had a bone chip, which I found out. I don't know what, you know what I think that was? There was a video that I filmed in May and it was that hardest trick video on my channel. You guys can click the card and watch that. And I hit my ankle with my peg really bad. And I, that hurt. But th that had to be from that because I didn't hit the bone any other time since then. So I must have chipped my bone that day in the summer 
the bone chip was just in there. It wasn't bothering me because they said sometimes it doesn't even bother you, I don't even feel it. And then I bruised and wrecked my tendons and that's what hurts. So this bruise needs to heal, nothing crazy. I'm just gonna take care of it, exercise, ride flat. If anything, riding flat is good for it as long as I don't fall because a lot of the peg work is, is a lot of ankle exercise. So I'm just gonna ice, rest, work this thing back out and then we'll be good. Back to riding, hopefully, we're back to riding. We are riding. Back to riding a little hard, finish the riding away seat. 11 video, start flat at six. We're gonna bang this out. I'm gonna get one more trick for you guys. Try to think of something and uh, I still haven't thought of a trick yet. I've been on the phone the whole time. So I'll get back to you guys in a second. This is a new phase. I didn't think this was gonna work. So I just filmed it on my phone because I wasn't sure to film it for this. But I got a clip, I got a brand new clip. I don't know what it is, I never know. I need to like, write a book on tricks or something one day, but. I got I got this new stall trick, no idea. I'll show you guys here just to show you like what my setup is. A lot of people asking like how I self film and stuff. I saw some comments on my post last week and people were asking how I self film and this is what I use. I use a Joby Pro Telepod and my phone and I usually film like this. I usually film vertical just to make sure that I'm in the shot because a lot of times on Instagram it's it's just easier to see. So I film vertical. I got this clip right here. So check that out. Brand new trick that is posted on Instagram already. So if you guys are following me. You've seen it already, but if not, make sure you're following me because I'm really hyped on that. A brand new stall trick is kind of like a plank or whatever, and I was able to just stall it, bring it back, fakey, land it magically like that last part. Usually takes me so long. We made it work, so pretty hyped on that. What a freaking day. I was so nervous about the news from my ankle. That turned out better than I thought. Still have work to do, it's still injured. I shouldn't be going hard yet but it's way better than going under the knife. And that was one thing I'm worried about because that takes you out for a bit. I've done it a few times and this is like my magic foot. This is the foot that does all the tricks. <laughs> they could take any body part, but this one, this one is very crucial. So good news on that. Good session today. New fun trick for you guys to try. New trick for me to do and I did it. And it's already posted on Instagram. Hope you enjoyed that one very successful day i'm glad today's a very positive day uh, it's cold it's the winter a lot of stuff's been going on a lot of work to do a lot of brand work to do but we're in motion and i appreciate you guys being here for these videos if you guys have questions about anything like what i do or any advice that i can give you on some work that you're doing whether it's scootering whether it's homework schoolwork, or anything just trying to be positive and how to really work and not get tired and really focus. Like I'll let you know what generally goes through my mind with work and how I motivate myself to go out here every single day to ride and progress. So leave a comment. Let's have a conversation with everybody below. Like someone leave one comment, everybody comments on that. Let's start like a little thread action right there. But I'm out of here. Don't forget to like the video, comment something cool underneath. And of course, click subscribe, making videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. With that being said, we're capping the session off and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.